Hello my fellow zombies, how's everyone doing today? Today I'm playing Batman the uh, Telltale series. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now, and that's that season two of this actually just started coming out. Episode one's out right now. A lot of YouTubers are playing now. Now, uh, here's kind of thing. With the majority of games, uh, as you've seen, I like to play from the start. I want to do, like, as of yet, you've seen I uh, haven't done Walking Dead Season 3 yet because I still haven't uh, got the full. Basically, I wanted to get the full uh, Season 1 and 2 played through on a continuous continuity, I guess you could say. But regardless, um, what I'm saying is, I originally had intention of playing this when it was brand new, just came out, but, uh, yeah, other games were coming out, and I just kind of pushed it off to the side, so, yeah, I'm going to be taking it on now. Um, now, keep in mind, I don't have all the episodes, but I'll, uh, currently I just have episode one. I'll try my best to buy them over the next little while, so... Crap. Let's crowd play. Uh, oh, never mind. Um, so, I guess we'll just get started. And uh, once I got all this out of the way, I will uh, move on to Season 2. I'm actually looking forward to this because uh, I've been a big Batman fan for. I think probably was so a kid. He was probably one of the four main superheroes I grew up always uh, knowing about. Right up there with Superman, Spider Man, and the Hulk. Those were kind of the big four for me. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to stop babbling. Let's get into this. I just slider so that one was barely visible. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily say that's barely visible. I can see that pretty well. And that's just gone. Well, actually, I, I can kind of see it, so I guess that's the one I go with. Hmm. Select a bat tech color. Oh, so this is like the color of all the, the tech I'm going to be using. Hmm. Um, guess we'll go with Zombie Blue. Game series is the depth of choice that you make, the story is tailored by how you play. No, it isn't. Honestly, we've all come to terms with the fact that it isn't. So, yeah, I think Telltale should really stop putting that at the beginning of their games. City Hall, 8.30 p.m. Not that late. What are you? Oh, oh shit. Uh, Pat Downey. So much for Pat. Hmm. Get it open. On it. He's gonna show, he'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. So whose goons are these? These are obviously like henchmen. Whose are they though? Oh Christ. Who 
Move in! One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Alright, um... Let's see. Excellent. Yeah, you come over here and check it out, buddy. <laughs> and kick to the face. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe just glass in his eye. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever Wouldn't got it, now? don't let it get out. This one's mine too. Back to back, circle up! <coughs> what the hell is this? Wait, isn't that a gas mask you have there? Shouldn't you be like, not affected by this? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes, you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. You got any on? Shot. Nope. Nah. -uh. Not gonna happen. Nice kick. Come 
my punch is better. Wait, wait, actually not? Here, why don't you take a taste of my kick? See, you kick through... What? A cubicle? And I kick it through a door. Didn't your what? mother teach you to knock? Uh... Behind you, big boy. I thought this was City Hall, not the BDSM parlor. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Pretty awesome performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. We have a hard drive we got there. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. She might enjoy that. Bring it, Bat. <laughs> nope. Ah. Oh, shit. Duck. Damn it. Well, actually, I guess I should be pretty happy that, uh, that the news chopper distracted her. And there you go. Look, stay down, lady. It's over. This is an interesting position. Okay. Oh, okay, great. Let's go for a ride. Get over here. Two of them now? Jesus! Got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Oh shit. I almost missed that one. Okay, I screwed that one. Go to all that trouble for this. Gotcha, dingus. Shit. A myth can't be killed. 
You, however, are flesh and blood. The God okay. Damn it! I said don't Him shoot. fired now. <laughs> no! Wait! Seriously, disobeying orders. Gordon said not to shoot. You should be fired for that. Or at least reprimand it. wrong about you catching me hmm. not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall oh but that's what you crave the struggle I know men like you <laughs> I bet you do bye bat <laughs> that Hey, that's my gravel hook. Son of a bitch. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. So from what I understand, a lot of this is based around the idea of uh, you kind of have to balance Bruce and Thank you. Batman. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Which honestly, I, I like it when... cut Gotham's crime rate in half. I like it when superior games do that. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote like for not Harvey Dent is being the superhero. Like, to finally be put the person behind the hero, too. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you Good again, job. everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Harvey, you look ripped. I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. I understand. With the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. 
I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman, Harvey. Uh, Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. Here, a new face. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. I think I remember Together, hearing a while ago a lot of people using the change put a Gotham. dent in crime thing. City but... free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. You know, that's There's one thing I would, I would hate with being a superhero. Give me for being blunt. Is when you're in your secret identity, man people talking shit about you. City. And, and you're like right there, and they don't know to it. Think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> don't worry though, I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. I... Thank you for your sympathy. Well, I don't like Please, to Please shut maybes. the hell up. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. Seriously, not, if I was in this position, you, Bruce, I, I'd just be thinking like, the of this you are future. You have so our support, sensitive Mr. to the Dent. issue. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Hmm. Tells that. Hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Ooh. Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk. But nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. Or recorded. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. 
but how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah. Uh... It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Who's he? Carmine Falcone? Oh, Is Falcone. Is the dead campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being now, a businessman. There's a villain who doesn't city. get used very often. Excuse us, Miss Vale. I think the most I've ever seen of him outside of comics is like uh, the Gotham TV show. what kind TV of business show. do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Damn it. Maybe he can change your mind. Fine. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this. If we're gonna do this, I need a drink. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Mm. You know yeah, I've been in the nice. market for a new house. Decent market, my style, but sky yeah. high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Well, imagine my, uh, uh, imagine a man in your business. Thank you for welcoming Would me and here. Love home. that. Oh, frick. All the wrong You're sets a of eyes. Respectable man, I hear. Are looking at me right now, Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps you will all be more that. comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Didn't want to shake his hand, but. Uh... Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience oh, come on guys Bruce you'll be fine out there Harvey mm, I saw plenty of skirts no, 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 to keep no. you busy for a few I'm minutes I'm only talking with you have a drink, him. Have a talk. so Harvey comes with me Harvey stays with us a man's home is his castle I respect that seen and not heard whatever ah, you ah, what did I say hmm Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. Well, more likely just I ain't here to better distribute it. Politics, Mr. Wayne. But uh, yeah, okay. gives me a digestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. You know what? I'll be nice. At least until we kick his ass. Okay, imagine. This is me. 
And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Good face.